the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 standing cover with S Pen case review. And I haven't been doing a lot of case reviews. We're going to have a couple coming up here. I like to do them for the foldable foldables in general just because of how the cases are made, especially for the Fold 4 and that kind of Fold 4 form factor. I've seen a lot of reviews on this on this particular case. I got it for free. Now, if you're going ahead and get one, it's $90 through the Samsung website, which is why I want to do a review of it because I, I've seen a lot of positivity about this case, and I think a lot of that is based on just how bad the version of this was for the Fold 3. So it's a product of people liking it or at least looking on it in a more favorable light just because Samsung didn't throw up all over themselves this year. I mean, that's a good thing. All right, congratulations. But to me, for $90, this is a wonky little setup here, and I really don't like it. I'm going to use it, but personally, I'll tell you what. We're going to talk about it a little later in the video. The silicone grip case that they have for that one is $50, and it's got the little strap in the back where this thing would be, this removable nonsense would be, and you could go ahead and kind of put your hand in that and hold it one-handed. That, to me, has a heck of a lot more utility than this monstrosity does, and it's $40 less. So I would look at that. I would look at the Spigen. I like. I had this for the Fold 2, and this is more what I was looking at, kind of soft-touch material, rubbery material, so I could hold it one-handed and have the grip on there. This thing is just, they tried to be everything for everybody, and I think it comes up short. So the material, it's well made, all right? So it's not the material. It's not like, for a lot of those cases last year, especially for the Flip, Samsung used some cheap stuff. And that's disappointing because the Samsung first-party cases in previous years, I remember my Note 9 case was phenomenal. They had some of the best first-party cases. But in recent years, the past couples in particular, these have been really bad. So, okay, they, this is solid. That's nice. I hate these things on the outer display. Hate them. Now, that's personal preference. You might like them. Personally, I hate it when there's adhesive. I hate when they have these tabs. They come off. The adhesive sticks. Sometimes you have a problem with the device itself where it's a it's an issue staying on or the thing stays on. And then you, gotta, you got these little things on the side. And no matter how well you get these things to stick, all right, no matter how well you do it, this little bowing action... On these, like you can strum it like a guitar, drives me nuts. Can't stand it. So I don't even use, even on the speaking ones, I don't use these flimsy outer things because that is, it's not secure. It adds zero, in my mind, by way of protection. It just adds to the case being annoying. So, I, you know, no one's really solved this. Spigen has this issue as well, so no one's really aced this part of it. But whenever you're using adhesive or have these little flimsy bits for the outside of this display, I don't like it. So let's throw that away. But... There's plenty I don't like on this side either. Solidly built, like I said. Nice plastic. Problem is, it's slippery. It's a super smooth plastic. So when you go ahead and use this one-handed, it's not providing any extra grip. The grip is still all coming from your hand. And then you have this kind of awkward bump that you can't even really use to kind of dig your fingers into and use it for grip. Oh, hold on. You got Bixby. Bixby wanted to help out. Where you can't even use it for grip because it's, Super soft, uh, super, not even soft touch. It should be soft touch. But you have this super slick plastic here. So I don't like that. If you get oily hands or something like that, you're out, you're sweating, you're going to have issues with grip with this case. The other problem I have with it is these removable bits. Like, okay, it's nice that they have the ability for the S Pen, but here's the problem I have with the S Pen. All right, here's the issue I have with it. If it's not in the device, I don't care. I really, don't care. Don't want anything to do with it. This is something that I wouldn't label as a gimmick. But it's not something that I'm going to go for and have on there every day. And how are you supposed to manage this? Are you supposed to decide, well, today I think I'm going to need the kickstand. Maybe I won't need the pen. Maybe I'll bring, I'll need the kickstand today. So I'll go ahead and do that. What are you supposed to do? Put this in your messenger bag? Carry it around your pocket like a dope? I don't understand what the, what the. So then you go ahead and you swap it out. Wait, hold on. I'm using the pen today. Today's a pen day. Today's not a kickstand day. I don't need to watch anything today. I need to sign stuff today. So I'll go ahead. And the pen version of it is even worse because you have a little bit of grip here, but it makes it, it's an awkward hold. I think it's an awkward, you gotta, it's kind of this, this situation where the pen itself is soft touch. So you're putting it in this magnetic thing and then trying to get it out. And if you have anything, like I said, on your hands, it's tough to get a grip on the thing and use it. And like I said, the pen's not a gimmick on the Fold 4. When it's not included in the device, it's not something 
I feel the need to include with the phone. It's not something that as I use as part of the phone, it becomes an accessory at that point, and that's not something that you need. Plus, I have doubts about these pins or like the little kind of indentations holding out and that keeping sharp. And if that goes, then you're done. Because I can tell you on the stand bit here, I've had this partially come apart in my pocket. In fact, it happened today. I pulled this out of my pocket and this came off. And I could see a situation where you have this, you pull it out of your pocket, this catches, you drop the phone. There's a lot to, to improve here with this case. I, I don't particularly like it. I, I think that you could go with the stand case. That's fine. I would look at the silicone one that they have on the Samsung website for a lot cheaper. I would look at some of the Spigen offerings that they have only because they're going to provide at least some grip to the device. This provides no grip to the device. It's not overly bulky, so it's not annoying to have, but it's just weird. And I don't understand this interchangeable system where I guess if you're, well, if you're a pen person, then you do the pen. But if you decide you want to use some content, well, you're out of luck. Unless you're, you're just carrying around these, these multiple inserts inserts with you i don't know and th listen the pen one stays in a little bit better than this one but this one to me like i said is already coming off in my pocket i dropped it on the ground thankfully i held on to the phone this fell out and dropped on the ground but i was holding on to the phone so I, I i get that it's better than the one for the fold three than from last year but it's still not great and if you're asking me 90 dollars, and i understand there's a premium placed on these fold cases i understand they're expensive but 90 dollars is still 90 dollars from the Samsung website. Unless you got this thing for free, like I did as a pre-order bonus, then I would have, I, I would probably be looking elsewhere for that kind of money, almost $100 on this case. So it, it's better quality material than they used last year and they've used it, have, they, then ha, have they've used in the past on some of the first party cases. So, you know, kudos for that. But at the same time, the functionality and kind of the wonkiness of it really uh, detracts from it enough to the, to the point where I want to warn people, know what you're getting. It'll protect the device. I've dropped it with this on it, and that's fine. But at the same time, the ease of use, the usability, and, and this kind of interchangeable system. At first, I thought it was cool, but now I'm just like, the, the pen stays home 95% of the time. So what's the point? You know. And then when you do this, you put it in your pocket, it gets really bulky in a hurry, and you're still kind of having that soft plastic, or the not soft plastic, the, the slippery plastic, where you're not really getting any extra grip on the device as it is. Let me know if you have one, if what your thoughts on it and how well it's wearing in. If you've made it this far, like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Until next time, have that Steve-licious day.